Hello everyone. Uh, today I will show you how to create a phone gap project in uh, ADT or you can use Eclipse. This this is um, Android development tool. Um, I don't know. You, you can you can download ADT at um, Here, edit bundle, and you can <coughs> download the the bundle from here. Okay, click on download here, and um, you can download the the SDK for Windows here. I already have this, so I don't need to download it again. So the first thing we need to do is to create a project click on fire new project or you can click right here Android application project here okay give it a name and this is where you give your domain name in reserve order I will use use mine Okay, so uh, we leave this thing f as default. You can uh, increase the numbers here because I think uh, Android 2.2 is very very old now, and um, there are not many devices out there who are running Android 2.2. But I will leave this as default and click on next, next. And you can can use your icon, and I recommend you to do so. But in this example, I will leave it as it is right here. Next, next, and uh, just click on finish. Now, now we have our Android app here. And the next thing you need to do is to create a a folder inside assets here core www okay new folder and click on finish and inside this folder we create a file called indexed index dot HTML. This is the this will be the file we the the application will load when we start it. And click on, click on finish. Now we go to PhoneGap to download the package. Make sure you download the version 2.9.0. Um, the reason is I don't know where to get the Cordoba Cordoba dot jar in the newer version because they may they may come up with the new Node dot JS installation, which is I I found quite complicated. So just stick with the version 2.0. I already downloaded here. Here you go. And copy to desktop. I already extracted it here. The next thing we need to do is to copy some files inside the leaf folder of the phone gap package. We have just downloaded here. So, since I'm writing apps for Android, I click on Android here. So, simply click and drag it in 
the folder here and click on copy files the next thing is to copy this one to the lip solder here you should do the same thing and copy file and now we uh, right click here click on properties uh, go to java build path here and uh, we uh, we need to add jars here click it here and uh, go to lips and click on the the Cordoba Cordoba files we have just drag we have just copied to Eclipse so I select this and click OK and um, it should be fine now so the last thing we need to do is to go to SRC and click on this file we need to add an import right here you select this option and enter Now we uh, we need to replace this one with a different. Um, this is, I guess, it's an interface. Sorry if I I said it wrong because I don't know much about Java, but everything you need to do is to replace this one with uh, something called Droid Map. And then you will see a lot of errors here. So you will need to copy this line. This is the, the command uh, to, to tell the application to load our, our index.html file. And well, you can go ahead and delete this one. And uh, make sure to change this one to public. Sorry. And now the errors are gone. And you can save the file. Now, this is almost it. You can now go ahead to go to index.html and create your your file create your interface in this in this file so I will go ahead and make a very simple page and uh, run it in the emulator Oops, sorry I can uh, can run this application. It seems our application has some problems, so I will click. I will click on this button again. <coughs> I 
and you can see this is our application I hope that this tutorial uh, is helpful to you and thank you for watching